hey you guys we're here with um this beautiful bead garden i'm gonna be using and doing right now and i'm gonna be using red white and blue paint so it's optional but this is for the fourth of july and i'll be doing the red white and blue so it's gonna come out super super gorgeous i'm gonna go ahead and add the beads to the back of a paintbrush just so they are nice and sturdy before i paint them this is one of my favorite tips and the best trick that i can ever show you it's going to be a lifesaver i'm going to go ahead and use the red paint first and i'm just going to do um red white and blue on the beads so i'm going to go ahead and paint um two red two white and two blue and look at how gorgeous that red paint just it just shines it is one of my favorite red paints and it's just a regular red paint and I got it from Walmart. Make sure you cover the top and the bottom and you don't leave anything out. Go ahead and let it dry and give it two coats of the paint. So always give it two coats of the paint just so the paint stays on there really nice and well and it holds up. Let it dry before you do the second layer and you should be fine. Look at how gorgeous that color is. This is going to be great for the 4th of July. And this is going to go on my little Ray Dunn displays. And I cannot wait to put them up. So yeah, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Comment down below and go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I'll link the link down below so we can go ahead and share ideas and photos. And if you want me to follow you, just go ahead and say, Hey Susie, can you follow me? And I would be happy to follow you. But look at how gorgeous that red is. Make sure you let it dry before you give it the second layer because you don't want it clumpy and messy. You want it nice and dry before you continue on to the next color. Make sure you close it up and put it away when you're done so your paint does not dry up. That is a great tip that will save your paint and save you a lot of money in the long run. The next color I'm using is this blue, which is just a dark, dark, dark blue. And I'm going to go ahead and paint it. And now for this blue, for some reason, it was kind of like, wasn't giving me that dark, dark blue I wanted. So I had to paint it three times. All I did was I let it dry in between um, layers and it came out perfect. So if that paint does that to you, go ahead and leave it how it is. Let it dry. Come back to it. Paint it again. Let it dry. Come back to it and paint it again. Even if you have it to do it five times, as long as you get that color you're looking for. And I wanted that dark blue color for the American flag. I thought that would be very perfect. So I wanted to make sure I got that color and this bead showing. Make sure you do the top and the bottom. It's super important to get the whole bead in there. Make sure you get everything in there, every little piece, everything, just so it looks really nice. Don't be scared. Let it dry. Come back to it. To another layer, let it dry, come back to it until you get that color that you want. So I end up doing it three times before I got the perfect blue. And once you do that, go ahead and put that away as well. Make sure you close the lid so your paint does not dry up before you get um, started with the second color. So always make sure when you're done with your paint, even when you're painting with the kiddos, that the paint is close. You don't want it drying up, especially since paint is expensive. The next one I'm using is the white. I'm going to use my favorite white chalk paint I pick up at Walmart. And I'm just going to give it a nice layer of the white paint. And I'm going to let it dry. And I'm going to do the same exact thing. So it, this is very fun. I thought this would be very pretty on my Raydon display, especially for the 4th of July. I have other another birdhouse, which I made two of each. So it's going to look fabulous once I put everything together. I don't like skipping the 4th of July. It's one of my favorite holidays since we're always doing fireworks. So I'm going to go ahead and just do a little display out there for the 4th of July. I just don't want to skip it. And I thought it, this would be perfect to display it in a small way, but make a big statement. Because once you see my birdhouses and you see this garland on it, you are going to love it. So how's everyone? I hope everyone is doing great. I'm going to put the paint to the side and let that dry. I want it nice and dry before I start my garland and I add everything together. I'm going to go ahead and use this piece of burlap and make sure your hot glue gun is always running since I always use it. 
go ahead and make your loop make sure you make it long enough so it hangs and make sure you make it long enough so you can tie a knot if you choose to tie the knot and you don't want it hanging all we're going to do is use the glue just to seal it shut and it's one of my favorite tips and it works every time and it has not failed me yet go ahead and put it together and just seal it shut and that will work perfect once you have it nice and sealed the next thing <clears throat> sorry the next thing you're going to do is you're going to add a knot and you're going to do that knot super tight see how easy that was and that knot is super tight it won't allow the beads to go through now these beads are on the smaller side they're not the big beads they're the small beads and they are so cute especially for a small mini garland this is perfect for your display for your two-tier display to put it on your centerpiece now let's go ahead and make the tassel now i'm going to go around 25 to 30 times depending on how thick you want it 25 is a medium size and 30 is really thick so go ahead 25 to 30 times depending on how thick you want it and that should be the perfect number for you once you have it exactly how you want it grab a pair of scissors and you're going to cut it at the bottom and we're going to go ahead and add some ribbon to this I chose um, the perfect colors to add here. I'm going to add the white ribbon. I'm going to go ahead and add the red ribbon. I'm going to go ahead and add the blue ribbon. So I'm going to add a piece of each color just so I have the red, white, and blue and the tassel. And look at how gorgeous this is. These are all from the Dollar Tree, so you'll be fine. Go ahead and grab the ribbon. You're going to actually hang it to the bottom of your fingers. And once it's there, you're going to cut it. You're going to cut the, all the ribbon the same exact size. You're going to go ahead and take the white and you're just going to put it on top and you're going to cut it. You're going to grab the blue and you're going to put that all the way on top and you're going to cut it as well. So it should not be the same length. And if it's not, don't worry. Once we put this together, you can go through everything and adjust it and measure it and do whatever you have to do to get it done. Grab the blue, bring it down and cut it. Grab a piece of burlap for the next step, which we're going to tie everything together right now. And it's going to be super easy and super fast. Just get a little piece. You're going to remove it from your fingers very gently. You're going to squeeze at the top and you're going to tie it together. You see how I'm removing it? I'm going to squeeze it. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab that little piece of string and I'm going to tie everything together really tight so nothing moves so go ahead and make a super super tight knot and then repeat that again it's that easy you want to make sure that your knot is super tight you don't want anything moving anything falling anything out of place and you're going to do it super tight and you're going to do another one before we seal it shut go ahead and tie it again and again as many times as you want where you're comfortable that it's not going to move anymore Once you have it exactly how you want it, all you're going to do is we're going to seal it shut with some glue. It's that simple and it's that easy. You can repeat the steps if you need to. Go ahead and make another knot. Go ahead and tie it again. Whatever you need to make you feel better. Let's go ahead and take off all this junk so we could get to the next step. Make sure your hot glue gun is always running. Now we're going to add a little bit of glue right there just to seal it shut. You're going to let that dry. Once it's nice and dry, you're going to grab your scissors and you're going to cut off any excess um, string that you have around. So go ahead and cut it. Let that dry and let's get to the next step. Make sure your beads are nice and dry before you pull them off your paintbrush. And we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to get started with the red. I'm going to add the white and then the blue. And I'm going to repeat the same steps. So I added three, I added two of each just to get this length that I needed. You can add as many as you want. You can make it as long as you want, as short as you want, whatever color you want. And just make sure that you have it exactly how you want it. Now look at how gorgeous that's already coming out. This is going to be so pretty in my display. I cannot wait for to put it up. If you guys make one, just go ahead and tag me on Instagram. I would love to see 
what you came up with. A lot of you guys tag me and I don't mind. I love to see it. I love to see the tips that you have for me and just anything that I can learn from. Look at how gorgeous that came out. Look at how gorgeous that is. Once you are done with that, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next step. But look at how gorgeous this is. This is so pretty. I cannot believe how pretty this is. I am like in love with these colors. They are perfect. Now, the next step we're going to do is we're going to pass the string right through the top of our tassel. And it's just going to go in one way and out the other. It's super easy. If you can't do that, a tip for you would be to put it on the back of a paintbrush, put a little bit of tape and pass it through. Once you pass it through, take off the paintbrush and you should be ready. But mine came through so easy and so fast. The next step I'm doing is I'm going to tie a knot. Just look at my fingers to see what I'm doing. Look at how easy that's going to be. All I'm doing is tying a knot and I'm going to make sure that that knot is super tight before I close it, um, before I seal it down. So make sure that knot is super tight and it goes all the way up before you close anything or you seal anything shut. Look at how simple that was. All I'm doing is pulling on the string, making sure that knot is super tight and then I'm going to cut off any excess string that I do not need. But yeah, I'm just pulling it, adjusting it, making it just how I want. I'm cutting off some string and I'm going to glue this together. Grab your glue gun. We're going to go ahead and glue this down and it's going to look really nice when it's done. It's super easy. I love the way it came out. I cannot wait to display this. It is gorgeous. So now we're going to glue it together. Add a little bit of glue, bring the string all the way around, and we're going to seal it shut. And it's that simple. Look at how fast that was. Take off any excess glue. You don't want it going on your beads. You don't want it drying on your beads. It's going to rip the paint. And when you're done, let it dry and move on to the next step. Now, the next step is super easy. Grab your scissors, and we're going to trim the bottom of this. You see how the scissors are going through the ribbon. You're just going to go through it, cut it. You're going to trim it and make everything the same size. So when you hang it on your display, everything is really nice and it just makes sense. Now look at how gorgeous it is. Go ahead and fluff it up and we're going to add it to the display right now. All I'm doing is moving it around. I want to make sure that all the ribbon is shown, especially all three colors. If you have a thinner ribbon, it would be it would work out perfect, but I didn't buy anything for this um DIY. I had everything already and I wasn't going to buy anything. Now I'm going to show you how easy it is just to add it to your display and look at how gorgeous it's just going to come out. I'm going to go ahead and tie it on there or you can pass it through. There's two different types of ways you can do this. Both ways work and both ways are gorgeous. So just work around it. Go ahead and hang it on there. And once you got it around, trust me, you're going to love it. It's going to be the perfect little garland for you and your display. And it's going to add that beautiful touch of the 4th of July. Look at how gorgeous it hangs right there. Look at how gorgeous this is. It's just going to hang on your display. Go ahead and put it on your centerpiece. Add it to your two-tier tray. Wherever you add this, it's going to give it that little extra touch. And it's going to be super, super gorgeous. I hope you guys make one. And if you do, go ahead and tag me on Instagram. I would love to see what you made and how it came out. And yeah, look at how gorgeous that is. And until next time, bye you guys.